right, JB. Tell the boss I'm going long on oil. Good. Okay. Uh, Stacy, you got those munis for me? Yes, Mr. Brown. All right. Hey, Todd. We're gonna need you at that softball game Saturday. Bring the orange socks. No problem, Jack. 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 Hey, 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 Pam, you gotta help Jack. me. I, I got this song on the radio. It's in my head. No, 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 no. Jack, I need to talk to you. What? I had to show them everything. Have you told anyone the money went missing? Not even the board of directors. Mr. Ford, those donations were my responsibility. I could go to jail. No, that's not gonna happen. Tell us about your money manager. His name's Jack Hurley. Works for one of the biggest firms in town. He said that with the right investments, he could grow our money. He was enthusiastic and sweet, like a big kid. I did my homework. He checked out. So when did you realize things had gone wrong? We're breaking ground next week on a new food pantry, and I needed to write some checks. Jack's been ducking my calls, so I contacted his boss. And he told me they didn't even have a record of our having an account there. How is that possible? It isn't. The company is falsifying its record, so that it's not on the hook for Hurley's embezzlement. Classy. It happens all the time. People trusted me with this money. And you trusted Jack Hurley. Michelle, this isn't your fault. Important for you to know that. Please don't take this the wrong way. After what happened with Jack, I have to ask. Mm. Why do you do this? Oh. Same reason you do. Bit early for that, isn't it? What was that? Oh. <laughs> what does that matter? What does that matter? I mean, what matters is that this nice woman runs a food bank, you know, that we keep her out of prison. That's what's... Me. Look, this guy is probably halfway around the world already. Let's go. She has all the company's monthly statements. She, oh, she, she, why can't she just sue the firm? Yeah, well, have fun with your seven-year lawsuit uh, against a Wall Street firm, your pro bono mall lawyer. Yeah, see how that turns out for you. No, we have to find this Jack Hurley. Hardison. Jack Hurley. Money manager from McTee Capital Investments. Single, no criminal record. He owns a condo in the marina. Last seen peeling out of the company driveway yesterday. Where is he? I can tell you where he is not. In my world, he's not on the grid. No online noise at all. He's probably liquidated the charity's money into cash. All right, if that's the case, then it's going to be burning a hole in his pocket. OK, well, so we don't know where he is. We have to figure out where he's been. Here's his last credit card statement before he disappeared. Uh, bar, bar, strip club, taco stand. I didn't know they took plastic. Asian massage, I know they take plastic. Bar, wing spot, pay-per-view. This was all Sunday. All right, well, you have any patterns with his movement? Does that look like a pattern to you? It's like Billy from the Family Circus if Billy was a Drunken sex fiend. Uh uh. Well, look, we're assuming this guy's still in Los Angeles, but you said yourself he could be halfway across the globe. No, his passport wasn't dinged. He's still in the States. Oh, wow. Well, that narrows it down. Actually, it does. He's an addict under stress, so he's not going to be doing a lot of exploring. He's going to stay well within his comfort zone. He's still in LA. Oh, yeah. All right, we're going to do this old school. Uh, Parker, you break into his condo, see what you can find. Uh, Sophie and I will hit the retail spots. You guys go to his favorite haunts. But don't spook him. Just follow him. Let him lead us to the money. Uh, Strip joint. Yeah. You know, <clears throat> I'm, I'm going to need a change for 100 in singles. I'm sorry, what? You, you think I have 100 singles on me? Bar number 12, 
You see this place? It's not exactly a velvet rope kind of guy, is it? No, he's not. Now look at this guy one more time. Don't get mad, but I may have spilled slush in your car. That's like 44 ounces, Hardison. It's not that much. The lid is floating in the damn floorboard, wow, man. You it's are running being into the back seat. Very right? dramatic. You're, when we get back to the Seriously? office, you're cleaning this up. Okay. You're cleaning this up as soon as we get back. That's our guy. I'm right not, there. Don't try to change no, the subject. Look, that's our guy. All right, Nate, we got Hurley at location number 12. No. Meet us here to pursue. Yes, dude. You see him trying to force his keys onto that girl? Yeah. No, it should be the other way around, huh? Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. You don't know nothing about that. Really? I almost had it in me to wash this car. Uh, almost. Ten bucks says you're washing the car. I, I know gear. it. I know Yo. it. Get him! Open it! Open us! Get him! Big idea! Thought we couldn't find you? Hey, hey, hey. No, 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 no! Not how you exchange insurance information. No! Where's my money? No, no, I got it! Where's my money? Oh, 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 oh. Aiming for his leg. Yeah. Give me the gun, Hardison. What? Nate, we lost him. Don't worry, we found him. He's around the corner from you on Cyprus. Is he sleeping? Could be a concussion. No, oh, I've had concussions. You don't snore. <sighs> no sign of the money in the car. Wake his ass up, then I'll find out where it's at in five minutes. Yeah, what are we gonna do while he sends you on a wild goose chase, huh? Tie him to a chair, no thanks. I'm not gonna add kidnapping to my list of crimes. <laughs> Well, what do we do? We just gotta be smart about this. Run a game on him. What game? In five minutes, he's gonna be in county lockup and we'll never get near him. I know the cops aren't gonna lock him up. Jack Curley's gonna lock himself up. Guys, come on. Last thing I remember, I was in my car. I could swear I hit something. <laughs> oh yeah, you hit something, all right. A little thing called rock bottom. Welcome to rehab. Graduated Cambridge Medical College, winner of the Millworth Fellowship for Addiction Therapy Research. Dr. Tanner, it's not every day we get someone of your stature to consult on our staff. Well, one can't stay locked in the ivory tower of academia forever, Doctor. I'm ready to get my hands dirty again. Second act doesn't pander to the rich and privileged. It's uh, not about status here. The idea is that we're all equal. So the first thing we do when folks check in is take away all their ties to the outside world, cell phones, PDAs, even their clothes. Breaking the cycle. I agree. Very important. Well, Dr. Tanner, this is our day room. Ready to get your hands dirty? Hello, I'm, uh, I'm Dr. Tanner. I'm going to be leading this group. Before we get started, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourselves and um, tell us why you're here? Um, I'm Marcy. I'm here because my mother's a controlling bitch, basically. Huh. Candor. It's a good start, Marcy. Rumbly, Darren. More than often. 
Huh. Hi, my name is Rose. I'm a kleptomaniac. My parents are rich, but I shoplift anyway because I hate myself. Okay, Rose, um, next time why not share that with the group and not the floor? Um, eye contact is the gateway to communication. Right, who's next? Uh, yeah, I'm Tom and I like to drink. I'm Jack and I'm an alcoholic. Thanks, Jack. Also nicotine. The patches, not the cigarettes. Okay. Internet porn, non-internet, well, porn, basically. Also compulsive gambling, compulsive lying, compulsive eating. Tacos. I got a big taco problem. I think it all stems from my stint as an operative in the CIA in Beirut. Not the tacos, the, the drinking part. Can I tell you something? Somehow, in my drunken stupor last night, I stumbled in here and checked myself in. Apparently. So I guess that means I've hit rock bottom. Uh-huh. Splendid, Jack. That was, that was very brave. Why don't we um, go back to Tom here? Not me. No, Jack, or go to Nick Nolte over here. Uh, why yeah, me? Yeah, no, you said you liked to drink, but you didn't, you didn't characterize it as a problem. Well, because it's not a problem. Drinking relaxes me and helps me focus. Oh, I see. So uh, you like to medicate yourself with alcohol, is that it? <laughs> what are you doing? <sighs> Listen, doctor, uh, do you know what the definition of a, a addiction is? Uh, any compulsive behavior that has a negative impact on your life. So I guess we could say that those uh, $1,500 boots that you're wearing or an addiction. Well, I haven't had any complaints. No, let me account of them and then uh, move the blow. Well, thanks a lot, Sam. But I don't think that Tom here has actually answered my question. Yeah, well, okay, we could talk about my drinking problem or we could talk about your boot problem or we could talk about Jack here who has a very legitimate real problem here. I mean, he has blackouts. Isn't that why we're here, uh, Dr. Tanner? Fine. Tell us about it, Jack. That's bad. I don't even remember where I parked my car yesterday. Uh, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but um, I overheard the orderly say that you told him that. Oh, that was my car. No, I, I parked my car somewhere downtown, and I had the receipt in my, in my pocket, and I really need to find that. OK, good. That was, that was a good start. Does, um, does anyone have anything they'd like to add? Fifteen hundred bucks for boots. You got ripped off, lady. <laughs> we've been looking for you. It's time for your medicine. Uh, medicine? What are you talking about? Well, you've been diagnosed with kleptomania, and in addition to talk therapy, there's a uh, drug protocol. No, I don't, I, I don't do drugs. <laughs> well, it's not doing drugs, Rose. Uh, antidepressants are taken by 20 million Americans every day to treat a variety of behavioral disorders, and it's perfectly safe. Talk to me, baby. Oh, damn. Harley's a big guy, right? Yeah. So is the parking attendant. Why is the seat so far forward? I think I can pop the trunk without starting the car. Somebody's been in the car. 
What's your problem? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, there's a bomb. What? Listen, listen, listen. There's a bomb. Don't stay shaking. No. Stay, 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 stay. Listen, it's right. Listen to me. It's right underneath the seat. All right, that means it's got to be pressure sensitive. If you move, this thing's going to go off. Chill. Pressure sensitive? It's pressure sensitive, you sure? Okay, pressure, pressure. Okay, e um, Elliot, go, go, get a, get, get a bag of bricks, right? Bricks, and you put it on the seat at the same time, I roll off. That only works in the movies. Bag of bricks is a good sound plan. Now we got two minutes. Two minutes? Shut up! Focus! Let's start with the bomb ass two minutes. All right. There's wires running in the dashboard computer. That's probably how it's picking up the pressure sensors in the seat. Oh, it's, 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 uh, it's a computer bomb. I, I, I know computers. Computer bomb. Um. We 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 got we got to reboot the system. Yeah. I'm gonna kick it. God, I'm going to die. No, just look. Ooh. Just just no. Duck, duck up under the hood and just tell me how it's attached to the electrical system. I got it. And there's a lot of wires here. Yes, there are a lot of wires. It's a computer. Breathe. Breathe. Oh, okay, um, you know what? Look, what you gotta do, man, you gotta yank the wires. At the same time, I reboot the system, and I trick the bomb into thinking it's going off. What's our margin for error here? About half a second. Run the bag of bricks by me again. You ready? No! Are you ready? Yeah. Go! Ha! Ha ha! 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 Oh! Ah! Ah! there? Stop! Don't! Stop! Don't play! Where are you going? We gotta well, search the car! I'm gonna go and freshen up a little bit. Maybe cry a little. Old friends. No ones. Mira. No. No. All these guys. No man. Nuestros amigos de la cantina. You two, you with Hurley? Where's my money? Don't do it, take it to the Maria. You have five seconds to give us our money, or you die. No, 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 no. We're getting our money first. Five. Well, I got yeah, fellas, fellas, fellas. Uh, we, we all from the same boat, you know? I come from Kingston, Jamaica. I come to collect my money from the Bassett Highly. Four. You think I'm playing with you? Fellas, fellas, uh, we all want the same thing. OK, let's just be gentlemen about it. Three. Keep counting. I'll put a bullet in your head. Hey, we can settle this over our refreshing beverage. Two. Say one, puta. Well, I, yeah, you're, you're Korean, you're Mexican, me are Jamaican, OK? Underneath, we all the same thing. One. Hold on. I got your bomb right here, all right? Chileans. Never mess with Chileans. You mean there's more guys that want this dude dead? I got it on a one second delay. That gives me just enough time to get up underneath that truck. Now, maybe I make it, maybe I don't. But one thing's for certain, you all die. Now, let's just calm down and let's back away. Vamos! When you said you were going to dive under that truck, you were going to drag me with you, right? Sure. I'm serious, man. Don't play with me. I'm serious. 
Mm. Where's Hurley? Hurley? I don't know. He's probably leading the codependent wing in a rousing game of Simon Says. You look awful. Thank you, that's sweet. Do you, do you need something, Sophie? Yeah, Elliot and Hardison are on their way over. Okay. Oh! Whoa! You're shaking. I know they have the air conditioning on so high. You haven't had a drink in 48 hours. This is withdrawal. <laughs> so, I'm not in rehab. Pretending. Oh. Yeah. Well, congratulations. You've got me fooled. Mm. Can I help you? You sure can. Here to see a patient of yours, Mr. Tom Baker. What's your relationship? Why? Second Act has a strict policy. Only family members can see patients. We want to make sure outside influences don't hamper our clients' recoveries. Well, I think that's an excellent policy. Mm -hmm. I'm Tom's brother. Hi. Mark. I'm, I'm with him. So you're a friend of... No, no, I, no I, I am with him. So he thinks the flirting it makes me jealous, but it doesn't. You know, but if you was like Brad Pitt or Denzel or somebody, oh, girl, it would be on, seriously. Bring your ass. Bring, bring your ass. So it wasn't just a charity that Hurley ripped off. It was like the axis of scumbags. North Korea is a counterfeiting center, so they must be using Hurley's company to launder their dirty paper. Yeah, well, this Mexican cat had an accent like he was from the Oaxaca region. It's probably Sicario, hitman for drug cartel. Yeah, well, this is great. I mean, the only guy who knows where the money is is a compulsive liar, so. Mm. Yeah, right? We've, we've come up blank on the car, the condo, the office. It means someone else is holding the money for him, right? Elliot, we need to learn about the people in his life. So I'll get the names. I need, I need you two to follow up. What about the gangs? Well, we, we still have, you know, an advantage because we have Hurley, so. I thought my foster parents just wanted me so they could get money from the state, but now I realize they didn't love each other. They just wanted someone to love them. Like they needed you to fill in the gaps in their relationship. Exactly. But when that didn't happen, they just withdrew. Yeah. Which led me to steal. Yeah. It's all so clear to me now. Wait. Didn't you say your parents were rich? Yes. Because underneath their trailer, they found gold. Whoa. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, thank you, Rose. All right, in the um, five minutes that we have left, I'd like to talk about the healing power of apology. Oh, in your office. So guilt, so gags, and what? What do you, what, why don't just speak? Thank you, Sam, that, that was, that was touching. It was, and it's very big of you. All right, let's go around the room. Who, who wants to start? Tom? What? Tom, who, who do you think you might have hurt with your drinking? Oh, please. Here we go again. Are right. you ready to say sorry to them? He just said he was, he had his hand up. I don't, uh, listen, I don't think I need to apologize for drinking. I need to apologize maybe for not drinking. Maybe I'm a bigger bastard sober than I am drunk. Huh? If this is you sober, hell yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Mars. I have to say I'm a little disappointed in you, Tom. I thought you'd set a better example for Jack here. I'm sure he has a few people he'd like to say sorry to. <laughs> More than a few. Maybe they've had to shoulder some of his responsibilities. Maybe he's burdened them in some way. Jack, look at me. I want you to take this pad and 
and write a list of all these people and go away and call them, apologize to them, relieve them of their burdens and, and yours. So can I kneel? He just called, actually. It sounded kind of rough. Yeah, well, we saw how he was treating you at the bar the other day, and, uh... Oh, that, no, <laughs> he wasn't harassing me. He bought me a car. He was just trying to convince me to take it. He bought you a car? Mine broke down. Jack was just trying to help. Thank you for your time. Sure. Yeah. Bye. Bye. That was a dead end. Who's next on the list? The strip club, Glary's hideaway. He's not all bad. He did give some of the money to people in need. You ever notice how all bad guys know Hello? at least one stripper? They know at least a hundred, so what does that say hey, about you? I'll be right I'm a bad back. guy. What? What's wrong? It's the rehab center. He tried to go over the wall. I'm sorry to bother you, Dr. Tanner, but uh, I checked your notes. He seems like a deeply troubled man. Do you want us to restrain him? No, I'm sorry. Um, no, that won't be necessary. Are you ready to go back to your room now? Anyway, Pam, I just wanted to say how sorry I am for all those times you had to pick me up in the middle of the night when I couldn't drive. I don't deserve you. You listen to the doctors and get better, OK? Yes, I forgive you. Bye. I'm sorry. What branch of the SEC did you say you were from? The San Francisco office. Now, did Mr. Hurley happen to mention which facility he was at? I'm fine. You tried to scale a wall with a mop and a bed sheet. I've been, I've been locked up with a guy 24-7. I mean, you know, you want to get out too. I just, I needed to get a little air. It was nothing. It was... You needed a drink. More than one. We're in the middle of a con. What the hell were you thinking? Nate. All right, just, just tell me about our guy. What do we know about Hurley? We need to talk about this. No, we don't need to talk. You need to talk. I'm fine. Now, just read me in. You have a problem. Sophie, you want to help me? You really, really want to help me? In the name of God, give me something to do. Please, just give me something to do. All right. Um, it turns out that Hurley's not as bad as we thought. He spends as much time and money helping others as he does feeding his addictions. Define helping. Uh, random acts of kindness. He tried to buy some waitress a car, paid for some woman's college tuition. There's more to this guy than we thought. Uh, he stole from a charity. Come on, what more do you need to... Yeah, I'm not saying we should pat him on the back or anything. Listen, the guy, okay, he's an addict. You know, he's, he knows how to manipulate people. My father was an addict, my grandfather. I know how these people operate. I'm just going to let you think about that for a minute. I like this character. He feels more real than the others. Sterling. Company sent me. I'm worried about you. A place like this isn't cheap. We wanted to take care of your bill. Is this a joke? Treating your son's cancer, that's something we wouldn't pay for. It's money down a rat hole. But you, drinking yourself to death, it's covered with a small deductible, of course. First step is admitting you're powerless. Maybe it's just me. I don't think you're there yet. Get out! You know how to get rid of me. But that would violate all 12 steps, wouldn't it? Hang on. 
They took my wallet when I came in. Are you okay, Tom? You're not thinking about breaking out again, are you? Stop with the jokes and the pandering and pretending you care about people. It might work on other people. It doesn't work on me. I can see right through it. Come on. You need a little step farther. Oh. Shut up! What do you want from me? The truth! Okay. Okay. I was never in Beirut. Wait! You want to know why I'm in here? My wife left me, okay? That's when everything changed. just scumbags you took money from, was it? Was it? All right. All right. I stole from a charity. Yeah. But it's, it's, it's not what you think. It, it was gonna be my big fix. Michelle is this woman that works for a food bank. Only she doesn't do it for some high like me. She does it because she's actually a good person. I wanted to help her. So I cleaned out her account. With the tricks I've learned, I can quadruple her money. back. You were. Tell me something, Tom. Lying, cheating, stealing. If you're doing it to help someone, doesn't that make it okay? What's wrong? I didn't mean to. It was just instinct. Whoa. I accidentally stole it from a man in the hall. Okay, we gotta get out of here. Why? We gotta get out of here. Okay, Parker, get into the air van, out to the front gate. No. And, no. No, I feel like I'm making real progress here. Listen, I need you to focus. You don't usually touch me. Or any of us, really. It's the hole in your heart, Tom. It doesn't allow you to get close to people. She's right. Let's go! says the money's in his car. Impossible. We searched every inch of that thing. Uh, apparently not every inch. How did you break him? Uh, well, um... You took him out for tacos. Nate, you're enabling him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I haven't slept in three days. I had a showdown with two different gangs who, now, by the way, know my face. I sat on a bomb. And all this could have been avoided had you gave a man a taco. Why are we even helping this guy? Huh? Why don't we just turn him over to the cops? All right, listen to me, guys. I'm not saying we throw him a parade, but if we don't help him, he's going to be dead by the end of the day. So what's the plan? God. Don't worry. They're not gonna kill you until after they get the cash. You come empty-handed? You said you had the money. Where is it? No, I've, I've got it. I, I swear. It's just gonna take me a second to get it. Hey, does anyone 
else hear that beeping noise? I think I'm just gonna... Wait! Underlay! Oh, what did he say? Okay, okay, it sounded John, like a bomb. Yeah, yeah, 30 seconds! 30 seconds? I didn't want to know that. Why didn't I take German in school? Okay, just shut okay. up for a second. No, we don't have a second. You gotta get out of here. Go, Come go, on. go, 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 get out! Figured out where the money was, wanted to keep it all for themselves. That's what I would do. My boss will not be pleased. Vamos! You okay? Yeah, I wasn't expecting an explosion that big. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry about that. That's what happens when you use other people's equipment. Uh, okay, what did you guys do with the Chilean's bomb once you disarmed it? Uh, uh why? Just glad it wasn't me in that car this time. How's our boy? Oh, hey, Harley. How you doing? Uh, I'm not entirely sure what just happened. Go! Go! Dr. Tanner? Hurley, jump on, let's go, now! You and, you and Tom worked together to, to help me? That's right. You must really care about me. I mean, if you guys have worked together, you don't even like each other. Oh, well, well, actually, you know, he and I, we... Like, we get along just fine. Sometimes, you know, in the heat of the moment, in the therapy, you know, you say things you don't mean. You and it, mean what you say. You water under the bridge. I, anyway. I hardly. That, that was a pretty wild ride, right? Yeah, except for the wild goose chase you sent us on. And I checked every inch of that car. There's no money. Actually. Steel belts of radials. <laughs> what do you think? I think you might have a knack for this. Sorry about the rubber smell. It should go away after a while. Thank you so much. <laughs> You have no idea how many people this is going to help. Um, just... I'll, um, zip that up and then I'll see you out. Okay. Just, just what? take, take the win. Take the win. There you go. What's this? That's your uh, new identity. It's a uh, driver's license, a passport, birth certificate. Uh, your library card, Netflix membership, Sam's Club. Oh, oh, I got you three months free at 24-hour fitness. Maybe work off some of those tacos. <laughs> You guys didn't have to do all this. Yeah, well, actually, uh, we did. Uh, Jack Hurley uh, is dead. We killed him. Uh, so this is your chance to kind of uh, start over. Wow. Hey, do you, do you think Michelle will forgive me when she gets the payoff for my life insurance policy? Yeah, why don't we just uh, go with the win? We're giving you a second chance, so don't screw it up. If you do, I promise we'll know. Train ticket. Well, don't worry about me. Uh, I'm playing it straight from now on. In fact, as soon as I get to uh, Rosarito, I'm, I'm going to find the nearest support group. I promise. Thanks for everything, Tom. All right. And hey, if you ever need a sponsor, I am totally there for you, man. That's uh, no. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> All right. See you guys. <sighs> okay. So we have one more piece of business left to do, right? Mm. Um, is 
is supposed to be a movie set or something. Um, I don't think she gets this game. Um. Cairo Museum, the antiquities floor. Finally! <laughs> this is the alarm room right here. <laughs> you sure this is for the best? Absolutely. Second act isn't the right place for her. No, she needs to be around people who better understand the issues she's struggling with. People more like her. Hi! <laughs> hey! I missed you guys! <laughs> oh! oh yeah, when did the happy pills wear off? Uh, usually about you. 24 hours. It's too bad. I kind of like this park. Uh, Elliot. Ready to finish what you started? <sighs> I'm ready for a drink. <laughs> 